Today we're going to be looking at Lucy's Chinese Foods website and showing you how to make basic uh, edits and additions to your website. So to start, you're going to go to lucyschinesefood.com and then you'll type in forward slash WP admin, hit enter, uh, and then that'll bring you to your login screen and after you enter in your credentials, it'll bring you to uh, this, the dashboard. The dashboard doesn't have uh, really any sort of important information on it. Um, if you ever want to look at what these things are, you can click on these little bars and it'll expand and then also uh, compact them if you click on them. We're going to be going down the sidebar though in this video, so to start, the first thing that's going to be important are the updates. Um, updates are going to be where all of your plugin and theme updates take place. Uh, if you ever want to update anything, you can click on these boxes here, click update plugins, uh, and then it'll update those or the same thing with your themes. We actually go through and we update all of your plugins at least on a weekly basis um, if they're compatible with your website so uh, you won't really ever have to worry about this but if you ever do want to update them for any reason feel free to. The next thing down on the sidebar is going to be media. Media is going to be where of course all of your media is. Um, it's going to either be in this list view or it can be in grid view if you ever want to switch between those. Just click on whichever box right here you want it to be. You can organize it by media items or dates here. Um, you can also search for media items here, like if you want to search for general chicken, you can just type in general or general chicken and then it will bring up all the photos you have of that. Um, if you ever want to add media items, you can click Add New, it'll bring up this box, and then you can either drag and drop, or you can click Select Files and then search through your um, computer that way for some files. Uh, a lot of the time you'll be adding media directly into pages though, so uh, I'll show you how to do that later. Farther down on the sidebar is Forms. Forms are going to be where your career, contact, and email sign-up are going to be. Um, if you ever want to change the way any of those look, like let's click on contact. Right now we have name, phone, email, and how can we help. If you ever want to add anything else, uh, like let's say an address field or something like that, you click on the field, it'll pop up here on the bottom, and you can drag and drop it to where you want it to be in uh, the form. If you click this little down arrow here, you get some more options on how to edit the form. So you can show different fields here. Address line 2, you can get rid of that. You can get rid of you know, country if you want to get rid of that as well. And it makes it look a little bit more compact. Um, if you ever want to get rid of the label above like we've done here, you can click on appearance. Um, you can click in placeholder, or type in placeholders for all of these actually. So, street address. See, it goes in the field there. Then you can click uh, hidden for the top level items. Um, and you can also click hidden for these items if you type in your little placeholders and they'll still appear there. Um, and that's the same way that it works on all of these. Uh, if you ever want to Change the email, you know, if this is a different field, you can click in here, change the placeholder, change the visibility here. Whenever you're done, make sure you just click update, that way the changes take place. Since we don't want that on there, I'll get rid of it by clicking the little X. Next thing down on the sidebar is going to be pages. Um, we don't have a ton of pages on your website, which is great, because that means it's really sleek and compact. If you ever want to make any changes on a page, simply click on the page you want to change. And then um, these here are going to be your text editors. They have a text and a visual side. The text side looks a little bit more confusing, and you don't really need to use it. The visual side makes a little bit more sense, and it shows you exactly what you're doing. Um, if you ever want to make this page a little bit more compact, you have these little arrows here, and you can close these sections, and it will tell you exactly what they are. In fact, I'll type in a title right here. Um, it tells you exactly what they are on the home page. So you have your sweet and sour overlay, your email setup, your home gallery. And if you visit your site, you have your header, then you have this overlay, you have your emails, and your gallery. 
Those are going to be the three sections on your home page. Everything else is going to be a footer down here, or is going to be your header up here. So if you ever wanted to change any of these things, so this says voted best cashier in Springfield No, you can change it by um, just clicking directly in the box here, or if you want to change a section up here, you click on the down arrow, click what you want to change, and then you can type in as well here. And for any of these changes, just to be careful, you can always click preview changes, and it opens up this new tab, and it'll show you what the changes will look like um, without actually making it live on your website. So this is useful for uh, if you want to just play around and see what it looks like to add different text in your website, um, but not actually make it live. Um, but here are a few different ways to change things um, on your website. So let's say you wanted to add uh, some sort of text box here. You can just type in what you want. You can see that it appears if you click preview. To edit this text, you can click these different functions up here at the top. This will bold it. This will italicize it. This will make it a bulleted list or a numbered list. You can change the alignment by clicking these buttons. You can turn it into a link by clicking this. You just click on that button and then type in whatever URL you want it to go to. So if we want it to go to Google, we can type in this right here, google.com. Then if you click apply, it'll make it go to Google. If you click link options, you'll have this little check mark box here where it says open link in new tab. And if you click that, it'll open up the link to Google, but in a new tab, like it says. Um, so if I click that, center it. Um, let's say I wanted to bold it. I could do this as well. You need to highlight the text you want to actually bold or italicize though. For formats, you can add something like a button um, or make it white text for if it's on like a darker background. Uh, and then let's click preview changes and see what this looks like. So we have the hello button right above the Facebook button. And as you can see, um, if you click on it, it will open up a new tab to Google. And of course this isn't live on the website because I've just clicked preview. If you ever want to make a change actually stick, you have to click update here. Um, and then of course you get rid of a link, you can click on it, click remove the link. Let's say you wanted to get rid of this text, you can just get rid of it here. Or if you ever made a bunch of changes that you didn't actually want to keep on the website, you could literally just click refresh up here at the top of your page and get rid of everything. If you ever wanted to change this featured image right up here on the top of your website, you can, click, uh, you can change it right here. If you ever want to change the text overlay on your featured image, you can change that here in this header title content box. Um, if you ever want to add media of different types, like let's say you needed to add some sort of photo of food here, you can click add media. Then you can either drag and drop new photos here, you can click upload files to select them and uh, from your computer or drag and drop them here, or you can just simply click on something that you've already uploaded to your website, click insert into page, um, and it'll pop up there. If you click on it and click edit, you get some more um, options. You can make it centered, you can make it full size or thumbnail, um, you can edit or add a caption, click update, and then if you click preview changes again, you can see what that looks like. You can see we added it right here. Of course this doesn't look great, so we don't really want to save that. Um, so you can either click on this, click the X, or you could simply just uh, refresh the page. Um, those are the basics of how to edit your pages. If you have any questions about that, though, be, uh, be sure to let us know. Make a, moving on down the side here, we have Foo Gallery. Your Foo Gallery is used in one place on your website, right here, where all of these food items are. If you ever want to switch these out or add new ones or um, something like that, you go to your gallery, click Home Gallery, and then you see all the items you have right here. To change something, um, click Manage Items, and then you can click this X to get rid of something, and you can click this box here to add new media. 
And same as before, make sure you click update, that way the changes actually take place. Um, those are really the basics of it. We have it formatted pretty well, uh, so if you ever add anything or change anything in this gallery uh, and it doesn't look as good or you want to change the way it looks, be sure to let us know and we can uh, definitely help you out with that. Moving on down the sidebar, we have food menu items. The food menu items are actually going to be everything located on your menu page. And so, all of this. So if you ever add anything to the menu, or get rid of anything, you are going to do that here. So to get rid of something, you simply click trash, and it's gone. As simple as that. Um, if you ever want to add anything, you can click add new. You'll type in the new food item here. You scroll down, you set your featured image, that'll change the uh, photo for it here. And then another really important thing are these categories here. And so you'll be able to change these categories here. Um, so if you click on combo uh, and then you publish it, the new food item that you add will go to your combos category right here and they'll add it right next to your last item. Um, that's the basics of how to do that. If you ever, once again, uh, change up your items or let's say that uh, if you switch like uh, the category of an item, let's say for your wonton, you change it to a different category, you can click quick edit, and then you have all the categories available to you here. You can change this to a different new category if you'd like. Um, and like I said before, here's a great example. If you want to get rid of an item, you can click trash. And then it'll move it to this new trash category. And if there's ever anything here you accidentally deleted, you can restore it or you can delete it permanently by clicking those options. Moving on down the sidebar, we have appearance widgets. I said before, um, the widgets are going to be everything at the top and the bottom of your website, excluding this header here. So your widgets are going to be your menu bar here. And if you scroll all the way down, it'll be your map, your locations, and then this contact form. You can see those um, represented by each of these different things. So header right, this will be your logo on the menu, and then this will be the actual menu. And footer one, we have your um, map, the phrase three convenient locations to serve you. And then we have these three different uh, footers as well. Um, footer 2, we have your form, the title, and then the form that, you uh, that we chose. If you ever want to edit any of these things, you can just click on the visual editor, go in here directly, and then just type in here and change it. Uh, this works exactly like the text boxes on your uh, pages. Whenever you're done, make sure you scroll down here and click Save. That way the changes take place. Next down on the sidebar is Menus. Um, and right now we just have your uh, main menu, which is going to be this right here. So we have your home button, your menu, your about, your sub menu, and your other menu items. If you ever wanted to add anything to this, you can click whatever page you wanted to add. And you can click add to menu. It'll add it on the bottom. You can drag and drop it to make it a sub menu item, a sub sub menu item, or a top level item. Uh, and wherever you drag and drop it, that'll be where it is on the front end of the website as well. To get rid of something, you can click this down arrow and click remove. You can change the navigation label here as well. Um, and then once again, whenever you're done, make sure you click save menu so this uh, changes take place. Um, when it comes to your, to your website, uh, that is going to be all the basics that we need to cover. Um, if you ever have any questions, be sure to let us know or if you have any um, changes you'd like to make, but we uh, look forward to seeing your website grow.